<coughs> firstly a very good morning everyone i am vivek chitri bearing role number 20 ns03309 of physics department of namji government college kamrang south sikkim firstly i would like to express my special thanks of gratitude to the hod and the all the faculty member of department of physics namji government and especially for dr cp sir who gave me the golden opportunity to do this wonderful project on the topic plasma diagnostics using langmuir probe which helped me in doing a lot of research and i came to know about so many new things so about the topic is that plasma diagnostics using langmuir probe so basically what is plasma so plasma is one of the four fundamental states of the matter it contain a significant portion of charged particles ion or electrons the presence of these charged particles is what partially set plasma <coughs> apart from the other four fundamental states of the matter and plasma properties and parameter so plasma properties are strongly dependent on the bulk parameter some of the most important plasma parameters are the degree of ionization plasma temperature and the density and the magnetic field in the plasma region so <coughs> plasma diagnostics and plasma diagnostics are the pole of the method instrument and experimental technique used to measure properties of the plasma such as plasma component density distribution function over energy their special profile profiles and dynamics which enables to derive the plasma parameters some of the example of the plasma diagnostics are magnetic measurement plasma particles flux measurement plasma refractive index electromagnetic emission from free and bound electron scattering of electromagnetic waves neutral atom diagnostics fast ion fusion and fusion product etc and what is langmuir probe a oh, langmuir probe is a device used to determine the electron temperature electron density and electric potential of a plasma it works by inserting one or more electrodes into a plasma with a constant or a time varying electric potential between the various electrodes or between them and the surrounding vessels so langmuir probe it is also known as an electrostatics probes and it is the simplest probe using a plasma diagnostics <coughs> so firstly we imagine a plasma chamber with a plasma generation inside it and we will insert a small wire inside the plasma chamber which is a langmuir probe and we attach the probe to a power supply which applies a voltage between the probe and the body of the chamber and <coughs> langmuir probe enables the uh, plasma temperature and ion and densities to be measured and um, so now we can plot the um, applied voltage from the power supply and the measured current flowing through the probe as we can see it is highly non-linear curve there are some notable characteristics of this curve this region is called the ion saturation region it allows the densities of the ion to be determined and if we are dealing with the quasi neutral plasma then it is really the plasma density that is being determined and uh, this part is where the curve crosses the x axis is called the floating potential that is the both the electron and ion current are equal so no need current is registered all it means is that if we uh, place an isolated object in this plasma then it will reach the floating potential this part of the curve is known as plasma potential which is just before the electron saturation current region which enables the electron density to be determined again if we are dealing with the quasi neutral plasma then the electron density is the density of the plasma now look at the co electro co look at the electron saturation region of the ib curve so 
imagine we have our plasma then we insert a langmuir probe which is a as you can see just a tip of the wire and place a very large voltage on it with respect to the chamber wall as a result the electron are attracted to the probe and they form a negative sheath charge region around the probe which is a negative sheath now look at the ion saturation region where we place the probe tip in the plasma and apply a large negative potential naturally the ion are attracted to it and form a positive space charge region which is also a positive seed now now um, let us obtain the ion density of the plasma from the ion saturation current so expression for the current density is given by as we all know j is equals to i by a where j is a current density and i is known as the ion current and a is the surface area of the probe that it, it is actually the ion collection area of the probe which is usually slightly larger than the probe surface area but for our purpose we will just take it as the surface area of the probe now we can see write the current density in the expression as we have seen before where ns is the density ion density at the seat edge and uv is the um, bone speed which is we have seen before being this expression if we now substitute the expression for the bone speed we can write the ion current as follows now note that if we know if we need density in the main body of the plasma rather than the seat edge the expression for the current only includes the density at the seat edge to obtain this we use the boltzmann relation and uh, we all oh, by the way oh, by this where phi is the potential at the seat edge and n naught is the plasma density that we want the and the potential at the seat edge is equated to the thermal in the plasma given by this expression substituting the expression in the Boltzmann relation given the following we will now notice that the density is ns at the seat edge is 0 0.01 the density in the main body of the plasma and not although we can use the um, we can leave the relation on this but for the convenient we can often round the round down the figure 0 0.61 to 0.5 and the ion current density now becomes the following expression where ns has been replaced by the 0 0.5 times n naught although if we measure the ion current we can obtain the plasma density n naught but we don't know the electron temperature yet so we need to obtain the electron temperature to measure the electron temperature let us recall the diagram that we have shown previously we will notice that there is an extra component of the two register in the plasma with the voltage bp and vs across them there are actually uh, no register in the plasma but the plasma does behave like a resistance we have included this to show that the plasma forms a circuit with the outside power supply and the probe here bp is the voltage between the probe tip and plasma and vs is the plasma potential or potential between the plasma and the wall of the chamber known as plasma potential or sometimes called the space potential note that this forms a complete circuit from one of the Kirchhoff rule of the circuit the voltage around the circuit must added up to the total of zero this gives us that the voltage b across the power supply must equals to bs plus b p we will need this later to find out the plasma density as determined from the electron saturation current firstly let us obtain the electron temperature simplicity we assume that the probe tip is planar that is the electron drift speed travel along one dimensional that we have taken here to be the x-axis the electron current density on the probe tip is given by the expression um, where we will notice the velocity component vx has been explicitly included because it is a one-dimensional problem f is the distribution function that will take taken be the Max Maxwellian distribution and vt is the speed of the electron and that is the probe tip now uh, it 
not be the evident as to why we write the current density equation in the form we are just familiar with the meaning the distribution function and <coughs> the energy of the electron have to be overcome the potential difference bp and so we need to find the kinetic energy of the electron reaching the probe tip is given by the expression expression for the current electron current and now let us look at the IV curve once again now we can obtain the electron temperature by using this equation and we can see the electron temperature can be taken from the slope of this line but it has to be in the region of the IV curve between the floating and the plasma potential now let us express uh, let us assume or use the expression for the voltage B in the term of the BP and Vs that we obtained earlier in the equation for the electron current the equation changes to this form now now let us assume that let us assume that we are at the electron saturation current which starts when V equals Vs as shown in the previous figure the electron temperature now reduces to the expression so you have already saw in the video and we know that electron saturation current we can actually determine the plasma so Mm. Conclusion is that uh, Langmuir probes are now an antique way of extracting information from the plasma but yet a largely used diagnostic device. The fabrication process is cheap and simple compared to the other probe and the result obtained processed in a fast way are valid enough to give a broad idea about the major plasma. And uh, its future work is that and in future it may be very useful to manufacture a versatile Langmuir probe capable of being modified inside the chamber the collecting length would be changed in a matter of minute instead of hour time needed to pressurize and make vacuum this would lead a large number of data set with a wide range of different geometries that would serve to draw a conclusion about the influence of the probe geometry on the result if a model of the plasma is designed stimulation on Langmuir probe theory could be carried out comparing the experimental results with one obtained from the theoretical model would enrich the theories about the ion collection and even new approaches could be conceived to account for the real effect thank you